Welcome back to the kitchen. Today's another recipe day. And this one is one I've worked on for probably two years because uh, my wife Jeanette uh, wasn't ever crazy about bluefish. And I tried the milk method, we tried the grilling method, um, we tried different kinds of baking, frying, and uh, she just didn't like it. And uh, and I actually saw a video with uh, Black Tip H, and I think most of you probably know who Black Tip H is. Uh, take a look at his, his video on bluefish. And when I saw that, I thought, ah, this might be the answer because Jeanette likes crab cakes, and what we're gonna make today is bluefish cakes. I'll pop up a, a photo of the bluefish we caught today. Um, there's three of us for dinner tonight. One 14 inch bluefish isn't gonna make enough uh, bluefish cake for us. So what we are gonna have is we've got a little pompano on the side. Um, but this video, and, and you, anybody can do pompano, right? It's, it's so wonderful a fish, but it's the people that typically don't like bluefish try this recipe you can do your variants i'll show you the ingredients but uh try this method and i think uh you'll be pretty impressed all right so let's have a look and then we'll start the process and of course at the end we'll do a taste test let's uh start with the star of the show uh here are the bluefish fillets one one fillet uh separated into the two loins uh, from the one fish uh, we've got that on a little uh, sheet pan covered in olive oil and uh, we'll season it and then we'll show you what happens with that. We've got a bowl for mixing. We've got some mayo, uh, some dill pickle. You can use dill relish. Uh, we've got an egg. We've got some lemon juice with lemon zest. We've got some onion diced. We've got the uh, badia complete which is going to be the main one of the main seasonings. We've got salt pepper. Of course uh, you can't have a a fish cake without some Old Bay. We've got uh, gluten-free and some seasoned bread crumbs, a little olive oil, a little peanut oil, and then for serving we've got the uh, Louisiana remoulade, uh, some simple lemon, and tartar sauce. So that's the primary ingredients. Uh, let's make it happen. All right, let's get started. So we've got the fish laid out. Uh, little olive oil on, under the foil so there's no sticking. We're going to go with a little of the complete seasoning. What we're basically going to do here is we're going to pre-cook the fish. So you're not putting raw fish in your fish cake and then pan frying it. The pan frying is a separate step and what we're really going to do is we're going to pre-cook the fish. All right. And then when it comes out, it's going to go in the bowl with most of the rest of these ingredients. We'll form our cakes and then we'll pan fry. So the only other thing I'm going to do at this point, I've got uh, I don't know, a quarter cup of some uh, uh, diced onion. I don't want to put raw onion in the fish cake either. So I'm actually just going to sprinkle this onion um, in, this, in this pan as well. such that as the fish is cooking the onion will soften up as well. All right so there it is. We've got our, our oven at uh, 375. This should take you know under 10 minutes, 10 to 12. Depends on how thick your fillets are and the real temperature of your oven as opposed to the stated temperature. All right we're back. Uh, there's our, our fish and onion, uh, baked 375 for about 10 minutes. It's uh, flaking up fine. So what we're going to do now is we'll uh, show you how to combine all the rest of those ingredients. Obviously we'll start with that fish and onion mix. Put that right into the pan here, drippings and all, no problem. did soften up nicely. So 
So you can see how easily that, that flakes. And you know, the bluefish is, uh, it can take a lot of seasoning, so don't, uh, don't be afraid to keep going on it. So let's get the mayo. We're gonna be careful here on our, our uh, proportions. I'm gonna say that's probably three quarters of a cup. Let's start with a cup and see how far that takes us. Our, uh, our pickle, probably a quarter cup. All right, those, I may not have mentioned this, we've got some dry parsley and some fresh parsley, heavy on the parsley for this. Um, I'm going to go a little old shot of Old Bay, nothing wrong with that. We've got to get the lemon zest and lemon juice in. So this is one lemon fully zested and the juice of that lemon uh, all incorporated. So obviously the lemon and dill from the pickle is going to make a nice combo. We are going to have to use the uh, the egg to bind it. Uh, we'll get our breadcrumbs going and then uh, let's reserve that just to make sure we've got our proportions right. We'll decide what else we need to put in. Get our egg in. Get that beaten in. We may have to go back for some more breadcrumbs. Let's just see what kind of consistency we get. Yeah, definitely going to need some more of those breadcrumbs. It's clearly too moist right now. Make into a cake. So breadcrumbs. Let me grab a couple extra breadcrumbs also. All right, well, here they are. Ended up with seven. Three inches uh, diameter, about an inch thick. All seasoned up and ready. We've got our uh, peanut oil heated and ready. So let's uh, drop them down. Not gonna take very long, so I've got, uh, what we'll do is we'll, we're going to fry them one side, probably two to three minutes, flip them, and we're going to put them in an oven safe dish. We're going to reserve them in the oven, make sure everything else is ready. We've got corn, we've got the pompano, it's already underway. And then, uh, then we'll plate everything up and uh, it'll be all set. Just drop them in. So as you can see there, we've got them uh, half an inch of oil. So they're an inch thick, half an inch of oil. We'll do one flip, should be good to go. All right, let's get these flipped. That looks just right. finish up on uh, side two. Bring your plate in. Love the fish plate. Look at that. Thanks mom for that. And then we'll uh, 
just to absorb a little oil, we'll throw a little paper towel in there. All right, these look like they're going to be done. Let's give a quick check. Perfection. Plate those. side is just as nice as the top side. And as you know, anytime you're frying something, you want to pop a little salt on right at the end. All right, it's time. There they are, our bluefish cakes. Here's the final product. Got a little yellow rice. There's our uh, pompano, our fish cake. I like remoulade. Everybody else is using tartar sauce, but I'm not a tartar sauce fan. And uh, we'll come back in a second and uh, give you a mid-meal taste report. start right now. Let's just do a little break open. It's time for the mid-meal taste test. Uh, it's the best fish cake I've ever made, frankly. The pompano is phenomenal. The fish cake has a nice crispy crust, soft. I typically am not a dill pickle fan. I, sometimes I've made this with sweet pickles, but I did use dill this time came out wonderfully and uh, I'll probably keep doing that so if you don't like bluefish this is the recipe for you if you don't like fishy fish this is the recipe for you the seasonings and the spices that you put into this really stand up to a fishy fish right and uh, will not overwhelm it You'll know you're eating fish, but you probably won't know what kind of fish because it's that good. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And uh, check out the rest of our playlists with uh, reels, rods. And we're going to be working on some more action videos of real catching.